hey there what's up and welcome back to our channel and this is the 10th video of how to exciting series build your own virtual assistant and today in this video we are going to provide some special prompt or custom prompt to the gpt4 that we have integrated in this video so this is going to be a lot more interesting as we are going to give our special prompt to the GPT and making it like as we want. So sit back, relax and let's get started. Okay, so this was the code that we have created in our previous video. So let us create a dictionary object called messages. Here we will add a curly bracket and inside here we'll write a rule and the rule will be set. Let me add a proper gap. The rule will be system and let me separate it by using comma and there will be a thing called content and the content will be here. You need to write the from that you want your ai to learn i want my ai to learn that his name is jarvis so i can do like your name is jarvis and currently the gp talk is not available so let me use bing provided over here so let me write suppose this is the data okay so let me add another other data also like you are coded in so let me write html to check if it is working or not because the ai can be trained or coded in html so let me write html css not in other language okay so now what i can do is let me remove this try and accept block you can put it and if you put it it will be a lot of more better so let me do like format document and here instead of message let me write args in here first of all we need to get this mess first of all let's uh global this messages dictionary and here we will check if the argument is empty or not so we'll write assert ox exclamation mark and arrow and equals in a bracket so let me tell you what this line does is it use an assertion to ensure that the arguments are provided when calling the gpt function if no arguments are provided then program will raise an assertion error and let us create a message variable message to store the user message so first of all let us set it to empty and then we'll write for i in for i in aux message plus equals one and let me tell you what this three lines of code does is this line iterated over the arguments provided in the gpt function and concatenate them into a single string variable name message so the message that user wants to tell is stored in this message variable and after doing so let us append this uh, user message in that messages dictionary so we will write messages dot append and in the role you need to change is to user and in the content change is to message message and i think it's good to go this will be remain at same this will be also remain as same so here we need to append the ai message too so let me come out of this for loop in here role will be assistant 
assistant and content will be this ms and i think we are good to go gpt who what is your name who are you who are you let me run and see the result okay so we got an error oh sorry 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 i need to write i and let me run okay so it's not working why it is not working okay so we need to remove this thing and provide that mess messages dictionary to it so then it will work so as you can see it's working but we got a ping over there so let us modify the prompt and remove that ping also we are not we are not a ping and not pin developed by microsoft so let me run and then i'll get then it will remove this thing okay so now it's working the more prompt you provide the more it will act like what is you want so yeah that's much for today's video and let me give you all information like if you want to use other provider then just go to the documentation link that i have put in the description or in the comment then whenever you go on this github repository then just scroll down until you see some table like this so here there are some models gpt4 models these are the gpt4 models and the bing is active so i have used the bing right by writing g4 provider dot bing over here so if you want other 3.5 then you need yeah, then you can use this ai chat ai x and chat base is active chat gpt ai active fake gpt active so there are a lot of ais okay so yeah that's much for this today's video i hope you found this helpful and i'll catch you in the next video till then take care bye bye